Painting your walls, trim, and ceilings and not sure where to begin? Well, you've come to the right place. Up here. Ceilings first, then walls, then trim. If your ceiling is part of your painting project, you'll want to start here, along the edges. Using an angled bristle brush, carefully paint a strip along where the ceiling meets the wall, or along your crown molding if you have that. Hold your brush near the base of the handle. Dip the bristles about halfway down and then gently tap them. Don't wipe the bristles. That will take too much paint off your brush. Paint with enough pressure to bend the bristles slightly, but don't push too hard or the paint may drip. Now here's the trick. You want to switch over to your roller while the paint strip along the edges is still wet. That'll give you the best results. For higher ceilings, or just to make things easier, attach your roller to an extension pole like this. If your ceiling is smooth, use a shorter nap roller from 1 quarter inch to 3 eighths of an inch. If you have a textured ceiling, use a thicker roller nap from 1 half inch to an inch. And now, onto the walls. Using an angle brush, start by painting along your ceiling, your floor or baseboards, and along your trim around the windows and doors. Don't forget to cover your inside corners too. A two or two and a half inch brush offers good control so it's just right for detail work like cutting in around windows or painting trim. Then using your roller, Come as close to the edges as possible. Carefully overlap the areas you trimmed while they're still wet. Rolling in an N pattern, that's a capital N, always work towards the areas of the wall you just painted, overlapping onto the wet paint. This will give your walls a uniform look once your paint is dry. For larger spaces, you may want to edge and finish one side of the room at a time. That leaves only one thing, the trim, also known as molding. Your newly painted walls should be left to thoroughly dry before you apply your painter's tape alongside your trim. To prevent paint from seeping through the tape, try to use longer pieces instead of several shorter pieces. Make sure you're butting the tape right up against the trim. Then press to the wall in small sections. To ensure the tape sticks firmly to your wall, carefully press the tape edges using a clean putty knife. This will make sure you get a nice even paint line. A 2 inch angled sash brush is generally best for painting trim. Apply the paint in one smooth stroke in one direction. Start subsequent strokes of the brush in a dry area working towards the wet painted area. Use a glossy finished paint on your trim to make sure it really stands out from your walls. Once your paint is dry to the touch, remove the tape by slowly peeling it back over itself. So remember, ceilings, walls, trim. The right order is always important. Got any more questions? Go to your neighborhood Sherwin-Williams store, walk in, ask an expert in that order.